Right, the first thing you want to do is to uh, find the course play and the set you want to do is uh, Family Simulator 15 course play and it will come up with these results and then you can get it from GitHub or you can get it from various other mod sites so just download it from there I'll open this in a new tab Gotta be careful with a lot of these sites because they are uh, tricky and mess you around by getting not to you know sign in for the right program. So a Path Tractor or a for Family Simulator 2015 cosplay is that this page. And you can download download it from Mod Hoster, FS UK, and this is the manual. It'll tell you how to use it, so you can get all this business going. It tells you all about the controls. Okay, so I'm just going to go with my back button and download it. and um, for now I'll just put it in my downloads folder but generally what I do is I put it in a folder called uh, sorry new folder I'll call it FS15 um, mod store and I will keep this file somewhere right and then open that Another thing you can do is you can call this one FS15. So you know it's Family Simulator 15, don't get it mixed up with any of the other games like Family Simulator 2013 and 2011, 2009 if you play those, which I do. And this put CP or cosplay. I would normally just put CP because I know what I refer to it quite a lot. And then put it in that folder because you might want to get images for it now the thing to do is once you've got that file downloaded is to click on it and uh, you don't need to un undo the zip generally so <coughs> I'm going to just close that and um, we'll have a look in actually we'll have a look in that folder Downloads. There it is. And it looks like that. So, generally, what you do is, I'm saying it looks like that, and I'm not showing you it. It looks like that. And generally, what you do is you grab that and you just copy it. You don't open it like was pretend was nearly going to do with this win right you don't do that um, you just copy that file and then this is how you do it manually you go and look for your uh, famine simulator 2015 and look for your mods folder which is actually there of course and then you just paste it in like so. Other ones, if I take this uh, Crasso baler and the bale counter, let's take the, the actual baler and I'll delete that. So that one's gone. If I now go to um, the store that I had that one in, uh, the mods. I've got another store on another computer. This is the computer that. This is the Cossack Veiler. So it comes looking like this, not looking like. Um, like that, in a, in a zip file icon. So if it's like this, all you do is you just double click that. Let's just do run. 
and it'll say Family Simulator 15 mod is successfully installed. Now if we go back to our game folder you'll see that it's put that cost soap baler in as a zip file. So these types of files if you get them like that and they look like that with that icon it's an exe file you just double click it and run it if you do it a second time it'll say it's already installed do you want to overwrite it I don't want to overwrite it but if the file comes uh, download if you want you've downloaded it if it looks like lost it there <laughs> if it looks like that it's a zip file it says zip at the end you just copy it and you paste it so I might have gone over the top there with the explanation but because um, I know a lot of people can do this stuff it's really easy but for the, somebody who's brand new that just I don't see how you can not mistake that so obviously I'm not going to overwrite that file for me farming simulators is unplayable without course play because it's quite you know boring and that's something coming from someone like me, Farmer George, who plays Family Simulators, I love Family Simulators, but without course play, the game's, you know, laborious and really boring. You would not want to be driving up and down a field for ages. And I find, when I've talked to people who have installed course play, who haven't, have never heard of course play and haven't installed course play, they're the ones who have only played the game for a limited time and have said it's boring and they don't like it and they wouldn't go back to it. But then I've convinced them to try cosplay, and it's opened up a whole new world of the game for them. Because driving from A to B, you only have to do it once. You know, once you've set all your cosplays up, and if you get the most difficult thing about cosplay, I think, isn't just designing the courses. It's um, that's the logistics trick in the game. The, the most important and tricky aspect is actually naming the courses so that they're descriptive, and you know exactly where they are going to um, and where they're coming from and what they do <laughs> because when you return to that game later on it's um, annoying to not know what the courses do and then having to replay them sometimes it's hard to work out what you intentionally um, you, you, you intended the first time round. Anyway that's good I hope this has helped get cosplay installed Now you've been watching Farmer George's Farming Simulators tips for the Farming Simulators 2015 game. Please visit the website at farming-simulators with an S on the end dot uh, for any uh, help and advice and tips there. And look in the video description for any links. And please give us a like and subscribe to this video series. Thanks.